Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? You're Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to shut down or slow down, I should say, the custom stem glitch in Madden 25. This is also gonna work in college football as well, and it is going to help your defense. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, and hit that noti bell so you guys never miss an upload. We are gonna be going over how to shut down the custom stems, or at least slow them down from a lot of the people that are non-stop spamming this kind of glitch. Now, custom stemming, the, the custom stem glitch. What is it? How do you do it? I'm just gonna showcase exactly what it is in Bunch Strong Nasty because it's a very good formation. Let's find a good play to do it. Let's call it out of Y Trail. And then we're gonna call 335 Penny. And we're just gonna call man coverage, okay? Everybody it works against zone it works against everything pretty much but man coverage is pretty much where we kind of it gets not slowed down but it gets very very annoying to play against if you guys are rocking this in man coverage so we got patrick mahomes with one of the best abilities in the game pass lead elite he does not have gunslinger like like rogers but what we're gonna do is we're going to custom stem glitch so for those of you guys who don't know what it is it's simply a way to make your route completely break off extremely fast right now that wasn't the custom stem glitch the tight end actually did not uh, did not go on the proper route there so let me go ahead and put the let me go ahead and put this outside receiver on this real quick so you guys can see what it looks like and the custom stem he's actually not running that fast right now so it's, it doesn't even look as glitchy even though we're still making our proper reads but custom stem glitch it, it, it's pretty much a way to make your routes just a, break off of the line extremely fast it makes everybody look like they have 100 release and it's very very annoying oh it's probably because we have sauce gardener here which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for your opponents to to to, to actually showcase this so i'm going to actually go ahead and try to showcase it with the brown so you're going to sit there and custom stem and then you're going to smart route now watch how fast brown gets off of the line the guy that's on the left side just quick fast and wide open against man coverage okay as you can see it's one of the most annoying things in the game because it, it creates that separation pretty much on any route that you can put on. So like, if you wanna be extremely glitchy, you put a bunch of routes on this custom stem glitch and now let's put even the tight end that's in the middle. So now we have a bunch of routes that are all custom stemmed and watch how fast they break off. As Even the tight end that, that's out there, he breaks off extremely fast and it just makes life very, very difficult if you guys are trying to play defense. Now, how do you stop this? How do you slow it down? How do you how do you control this? Well, the first step into stopping this is stop pressing. So I'm not pressing in this cover one, but if we pressed, it just makes this glitch even worse. So I'm just gonna put these guys in hooks so nobody's going towards the deep field. And now that I'm pressing, watch, watch the difference between these routes. So now that I'm pressing, you know what? I'm just gonna put this guy in a drag and I'll put Rice here, who was just clamped up by the way. Now that I'm pressing, the routes, the routes break open a little bit better. And if you have a route, excuse me, if you have a pass lead velocity ability, you will end up completely dominating your opponents. And I'm actually gonna show the instant replay on that. This is Sauce Gardner getting beat by Rasheed Rice uh, on a quick corner route. It just makes it so that the corner routes are extremely, extremely quick. And if you look at the other side, even while, while pressed, he completely breaks off. And as you can see, that's a lot of separation. Now, the way that you slow this down, stop pressing your defense. That's number one, stop pressing your defense. When you press your defense against somebody that is going towards that left side of the field, we are gonna bring the squigglies up for this video because it's a must, it's a must have for this video specifically. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the size real quick for this video. So. When we're, when we're going over this, you only have a certain amount of area that you guys can pretty much pass lead towards when it comes to this custom stem glitch. So when you're facing somebody who's custom stemming routes that are on the outside of the field, keep your players backed up. That's step number one. Step number two is obviously if you have people that are going towards that left side of the field, excuse me, not the left side, but the middle of the field, like this gentleman just did, you want to make sure that that's those are the guys that you're focusing on the guys that are sitting there pretty much maintaining the the interior of the field those are the custom stems that absolutely break the game not the ones towards the outside as soon as you back up your coverage here not even backing them up but just don't press let me see if i can get up oh, it's not letting me it's not letting me custom stem this guy real quick okay 
it's just not letting me so let me let me run the play real quick but even still look at r1 r1 was custom stemmed and as you can see we actually still had a man there of course travis kelsey ends up putting him in the dirt but again the custom stems that are on the outside they can only go so far and look look at how much look at how clamped up travis kelsey was and that's travis kelsey on the stem glitch because he's not pressed watch the result in what happens he's not pressed which results in this happening the db doesn't have to react to the quick release he reacts to the cut instead so if you guys are playing man coverage this is going to be the best way to slow down the custom stem now again if you're if you're facing anybody that's running post routes that's when you have to focus on the interior so I'm going to suggest that you guys use your either a safety or the middle linebacker to, to stop people that, that are doing this. And you're going to focus on the custom stem that could potentially be beating you over the top. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the play here. And I'm going to take Brown and I'm going to custom stem him. Now, Brown's been open every single time whenever I've, I've attempted this. But if you're taking away that route specifically, you're going to sit there and follow him all the way up the field. And then you're going to kind of let it go because you're going to hope that the pressure either comes in from your defense or you're going to hope that he throws right at your user. And again, this is a timing route. You have to time it very, very quick. And if you're playing nonstop man coverage from time to time, you should have some deep safety help over the top. Let's say Adams is out there and you're using that safety that's on that same side. Again, that safety is going to help out with with this. So you're going to sit there and then you're going to look at how clamped everything else is on the field man coverage back them off don't back them off fully but just don't press once you press you're losing the match you're you're you're, you're going to lose the game because you're going to press you're going to shade underneath and then all of a sudden i'm going to sit there and just to end the video off just like this i'm going to custom stem every person that's on the field here so i'm going to put everybody on a post on a crosser just to showcase the result if you press while doing this it's just going to make your life 10 times harder and there's no reason for it so i'm just going to put everybody on a custom stem r1 wide open square wide open it's just going to make your life 10 times harder don't press while facing someone who is custom stemming everything in the game and you will have a much better time defending it now obviously you do need zones out there to help out deep zone here left uh deep zone there if it's the short side of the field you don't even need a deep zone out there if it's the wide side of the field that'll help you out a lot more because you'll end up having a defender that you can switch stick onto or whatever the case may be so that you guys can start guarding these super annoying glitchy custom stems in madden 25 and college football this is going to be a double video for you guys to pretty much play defense on both games because the custom stem glitch for some reason hasn't been patched yet i don't know if they know how to patch it i don't know if they know how to fix it without taking out the custom stem which was a huge feature that they kind of showcase. So again, make sure that you guys are not pressing your defense. Make sure that you guys are having a, 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 a deep zone safety somewhere on the wide side of the field, and you will do a, a much better job at defending these annoying, annoying custom stem glitches. My name is Pony Montana. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video, and hopefully it helps you guys out on the defensive side of things. I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, two fingers, deuces, 